I'm Sam, and this is some Amazing Travels. So, a lot has happened in the last two weeks, other than the fact that we're dog sitting. I think I've mentioned that my company is moving to Stamford, Connecticut, which is a kind of growing place, we can say. Some of it's rubble, the other half are like high-ish buildings, not skyscrapers, but, you know, taller buildings. Uh, the best part about Stanford, it's 45 minutes outside of New York City. <laughs> not only that, the facility over there is absolutely amazing. The TV studios are phenomenal compared to what we have here in Miami. So I've decided to make the move up to Stanford, Connecticut to go with my job and see where opportunity takes me. Meaning that uh, in a few months, I'll be broadcasting from a brand new place. If you know me at all, if you watch some Amazing Travels at all, you know I can't stay in one place very long, so this is no different. Other than that, Alex got his driver's license. Woohoo, Florida. And uh, I can't really think of much more, so just check everything out that has happened in the last two weeks here in the Week in Review at Jose and Carmen's to watch the Gator game. And these are delicious barbecue ribs and chicken wings that they made. Absolutely delicious. Alex, what'd you do with my phone? Did, did, you you're lying to me, my phone wasn't, wasn't in the car. It wasn't my purse, and you connected it to he the Wi-Fi. It was in the car, I got it. I connected it to the Wi-Fi, I put it in your purse. That if you want it. Our journey begins, Andrea's third meal. Of the day. <laughs> of the morning. <laughs> On our exploratory trip in Stamford, Connecticut with our company because they're moving there and look at this beautiful view of the city. Staying at the Sheraton Hotel in Stamford where my future residence may be and well um, I have a whole hotel room to myself. As you see, two double beds for me. Push them together, make a super king. My view is phenomenal. Oh wait, not that phenomenal. What? There's yet a lot to be discovered. Harlan Social, the Connecticut trolley. <laughs> <laughs> the food at this place was pretty bomb. Um, we had this amazing burger as an appetizer to share. Absolutely delicious. Actually, that was the best part. Then I had this beer called Butternuts by Pork Slap Pale Ale. Can't remember where it was from, but it was really delicious despite the funny name. I mean, that's why I ordered it, obviously. This is all of us eating. What's up, Carlos, Edgar, and Andrea? Cheers to maybe our new life in Stanford. And here we are driving through the town. It's really pretty in the fall. I mean, the leaves falling, the water. The only thing is, it's kind of like rubble some places and high rises other places. We're in Stanford, Stanford, downtown Stanford, left town Stanford, right town. We're in Stanford. Stanford, Stanford, Stanford Street, Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> Stanford North, Stanford West. <laughs> it's hard to take Miami people out of Miami and not have it compared to, well, the 305 beautiful as we drive by. Check it out. People from Miami really, really impressed by this tree. Can I get it? Can I get a leaf? You can get as many as you want. Until they pull out, until they pull out their shotgun. <laughs> No, you want it? Wait, that, wait, I can, I can. Drove around for a little while, but we went back for that pretty leaf. Hey, you want it? Yes. <laughs> Best part about Stanford, it's 45 minutes by train outside of New York City. So I went to go see some of my best friends. Hey girls, how are you? And margaritas done. Yeah. Ooh, guac. Ooh. Mix it in for dinner. And then of course our favorite bar, Hair of the Dog. So the, the MIA bitches in the NYC. Woo! I love that. The spot, Hair of the Dog. But really it's just my hangover waiting to come. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Every fucking week, baby. That's right. She's gonna be like 95. <laughs> Annie, round one. I have to get up at six, so it's not gonna what be about many this more. That's what we always say. We drank a little, then started playing this lovely game of fives. Basically, whoever's playing can either put out five fingers or zero fingers, and we have to try to guess as a group how many fingers are gonna be put out. If you're wrong, 
then, well, you gotta try again. <gasps> Options are five or zero, but I always kept putting out different fingers. This is a lovely game of fun. Who's first? You turn. All right. Three, two, one, 25. If I if I move my hand at all, it's a fight. No. I just felt bad. I am not good at this game. <laughs> We're supposed to be going home. What is that? The man that has to ruin our lives. So now we're continuing on. Even though what? I have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Wait. It's supposed to be like cater card. What is this? It's called like cater card. When I'm in town, there's no excuse about going home early. Anyway, we met these Irish guys who bought us a bunch of drinks. Prob probably because, well, we're five cute girls and we challenged them to beer pong. So, you know, kind of got the night started. Anyway, on my train back home to Stamford, and let me tell you, not a fun ride at all. Look at my face, not amused. An hour and a half in the middle of the night, and I really had to pee. Not cool. Anyway, this is us on our tour of Stanford the next day. Beautiful place where we had lunch. Absolutely delicious. Then we went to the sushi dinner place at night. Dinner place at night. What am I even saying? On our way to NYC now. What's up? <laughs> You just witnessed Edgar singing a totally different song to a song that was not even playing. Anyway, we are on our way to the High Line here in NYC. It was really cool. I have done it before with Squirt, and it's just as awesome the second time around. Look at these crazy cool views from up there. It's basically an abandoned railroad. Well, it was an abandoned railroad. And instead of knocking it down, someone had the brilliant idea of making it a walkway for people. So... It's beautiful, it goes right through skyscrapers. And look at this cool water fountain there. The lady's like spitting into your mouth, kind of gross, but also kind of cool. Had to try it, the water was cold and crisp and delicious. And anyway, the Highland was really nice. We ended up at Chelsea Market, which is what you see here. And at Chelsea Market, not only do they have knickknacks and stuff that you can buy, but you can also get some food and beer, as you see there in those taps. Had to go on a plane, so I couldn't take that home, but. This is a place where we had lunch. It was seafood. I had a fried oyster po' boy, delicious, yes. And then we went to get banana pudding at Carlos's favorite banana pudding place. All right, so we're going to the Magnolia Bakery where apparently there's the best banana pudding. Let's, let's see. Is this the Sex in the City cupcake? It is, it is. It is the Sex in the City You see? <laughs> When that guy asked me that question, I had no idea it was true, but apparently it is. According to Carlos, this is the best banana pudding in the world. Is that the I said so. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> heavenly. I approve this message. <laughs> I'm Carlos. Carlos. Magnolia Bakery, heavenly banana pudding. In fact, we went back in there just to get some more to take home. That good, yes. Bright and early. Hey. Waking up for your driver's test. Because I don't have a license. <laughs> driving around with an album. He's been driving around with his German license, which is totally legal, but we had to go through this little process. It's, it's a gem and sexy once more. <laughs> So how was it? Easy? Easy peasy. For the German? Easy peasy. Can't wait till I see your license. You smiled. Oh, picture. Come on, go. <laughs> Alex had to take the written exam and he passed with flying colors. Now he has a Florida's driver's license. What? Hello, you got your license. Yes. And? I should, they're like, they thought I should have, you know. I have to take the uh, the driving test, and I was about to tell them like I drove here. <laughs> no, babe, how do you feel? You have your American license. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Come on, be excited about something. No, 
Alex and I went on a dinner date on Saturday. Look at the beautiful sky. It looked way better in person. We went to swine. This was our salmon dip. Phenomenal. I mean, that little cucumber celery salad thing. Wow. Really delicious. Had some lovely cocktails. And then we had my pork shoulder, some Brussels sprouts, and Alex's brisket. Trying to figure out the espresso maker. And we did. Alex made us some Cuban cafecito with that espresso maker thing. And it was awesome. Look who we're with the doggies. And now we're making stuffed eggplant. This is like the Food Network up in here.